Hello guys, we are still talking about what is going on, what is trending in Nigerian politics. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on your location at this time of the day. All right, guys, the reason why I'm making this video is because um, when Tinebu was granted an interview in London, that is a um, few days ago at Chatham House, somebody asked me if it's true that whoever is um, granted an interview in Chatham House, that automatically the person will become the president. So I actually told the person, it's one of my um, followers here, okay? That was on, on the comment section. So I had to reply the person, telling the person, no, it is not who appeared in Chatham House because um, he was taking example um, like Bwari and other um, leaders, okay, uh, that uh, being granted interview at Chatham House. So he was asking the person, I don't know if it's she or he, but it's one of my followers that asked the uh, question. So um, that is the reason why I'm making this video, just as you have seen on your screen. We have no interest in who becomes Nigerian's president. That is from UK. So the UK says it has no interest in who will become the next president of Nigeria during the forthcoming general election. Of course, we know that election is um, less than 80 days. Or should I say less than, um, let me just say, less than three months from now. That is February, all right? So, Mrs. Liang, um, it was disclosed in the, um, yesterday, Wednesday, by um, Katriona Liang, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, following a meeting held at the closed door with the National Working Committee of the APC. All right, so Mrs. Liang said the UK would work with any candidate who emerges uh, from the election. So the High Commissioner also expressed confidence in Nigerian democracy and the President's commitment to organizing free and secure election. Well, um, one thing I should say about this forthcoming election, um, I think for me, this is my own personal um, opinion. Okay, I will say kudos to Buari on this. All right. Kudos to Bwari because the election will not be uh, business as usual. Remember, these people are talking about structure. The structure they are talking about, they believe in sharing of money. All right? Sharing of money uh, to for vote buying or whatsoever. And now, uh, CBN has um, come up with this daily withdrawal limit of uh, uh, cash. Okay? So this is going to affect a lot of politicians in many ways. Remember, January is the deadline for everybody to return the old Naira note. So it is going to affect uh, politicians in many ways, this forthcoming election, all right, seriously. So like I said, according to um, UK High Commissioner, she said, according to her in quote, the UK doesn't have a preferred candidate. We are committed to free and fair elections, but we will work with whoever the presidential candidate emerge from the election. The UK and Nigeria have a very strong partnership and we want Nigeria to succeed. And democracy is part of it. All right. So that was from Mrs. Liang. All right, guys. So um, like I told you, this is the reason why I'm making this video. Uh, for the person that asks if it is true that anybody that is granted an interview at the Chatham House, that automatically the person becomes the president. Okay. So this will clarify everything of course everybody already know with all the permutation peter b was in taraba state yesterday right you saw the love when everybody when these people keep saying uh that peter b nobody knows peter b in the north um it's always i don't know how to express it it's always annoying if you see what happened in taraba state yesterday and in taraba state they call peter will be senior man yes they called uh, Peter will be senior man in Taraba State. All right, so with all the permutation, everybody knows that Peter will be has an advantage in the forthcoming election. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. I quickly want to update you on this. See you in another update.